Hello friends, good evening. This is Dr. Sanjeev Arora, your child psychologist, your career counselor, your consultant. And uh, we are back with another wonderful chat with another eminent personality who would be joining with us very, very, very soon. She is a life coach. She herself is a wonderful, um, vibrant lady. And uh, she's doing a wonderful job. So we're just waiting for her to join in. Her name is Deeksha. So we're just waiting. And a uh, lot many things to be told about her. <laughs> lot many things to be discussed with her. Uh, she's a life coach. She is a counselor herself. So uh, we're waiting for her to join in. Don't forget to ask, ask questions to her. She would be ready with all your answers. Okay. So I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, tough times were there. By all uh, blessings, by all the grace of God. Slowly and steadily, things are changing. Things are changing for better. Things are happening for better. So, um, and, and I hope that this change is a positive change which will remain with us. So anyway, we're waiting for um, Diksha to join in. We've been joined by a few more people. We are just waiting for uh, a few more people to join in. Uh, this so today's guest is an eminent personality, wonderful, uh, vibrant lady, life coach. Let me ask her to join this conversation with us. Hi, Sanjeev. Hello. Good evening. Very good evening to you too. And Hi. everybody who is joining in. Very good evening to all the people who have joined in so far and to you. And uh, I want to acknowledge you for making this session happen and for making this talk happen because I think it would be, you know, it will be a brainstorming for us both. <laughs> and for all the people who are joining in <laughs> oh yes i'm sure i'm sure and uh, i i'm i'm sure everyone is looking forward to uh, the wonderful uh, discussions and chat uh, what yeah. we're going to have now and uh, but before i go ahead with uh, those discussions and some topics uh, diksha just can you just tell me uh, you know uh, more about your work more about how you entered into this uh, profession more about uh, you know the, the the changes which you are making into the personality of others okay so uh, I am an engineer by education and oh. I worked in IT industry for 12 years so uh, if we see my education is completely different and what I'm doing is completely different and it all happened when I started working on my uh, self growth mm -hmm. as an individual it all started from there and mm -hmm. when I started implementing the things that I was learning that I was imbibing there was a huge transformation that happened in my personality in my individuality mm -hmm. and with that um, I got the clarity I got the conviction that this is not what I wanted to do for the rest of my life and from there, the, you know, the turn happened and I started following my instincts, uh, what I love to do, what I would want to do for the rest of my life. And from there, I started working with people. I started volunteering, helping people, uh, taking sessions, taking coaching sessions. And that was the time I got like clear that this is what I want to do. And I did my ICF certification from USA after that. 
I did a multiple multiple self development courses after that from some of the world's you know uh, most renowned coaches like Tony Robbins, T. Harvaker, uh, Eckhart Tolle, uh, Louis Hay, so a number of them. And this is what I am doing now. Yeah. Mm, wow! 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 My God, you're taking such big names that uh, you know my mouth is shut. No, so it's it's uh, it's an interest that once once uh, one know that what you want, then automatically things start to fall in place, and you start to uh, you know achieve what you want. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 So I'm sure there's a lot of uh, career uh, or changes which has uh, you know brought brought into your. That is exactly what when I give a lot of career counseling sessions to. kids you know uh, class 10th and that is the main uh, section that is the main class where the stream has to be chosen so this yeah. is exactly what this is exactly what i tell to them that see listen to your personality understand your personality rather than what exactly what are your abilities you might be good in science but that that doesn't make any difference with the uh, your career orientation exactly like yeah. what you you know you yeah. you must you must be very good in science that's the reason you took science and then you took engineering and then yeah. ultimately you landed up into something else so uh, uh, that you know those five years or probably four years if you would have done what you have been interested i'm sure you would have been a different person person altogether yes, yes. and As i think what you're doing what you're doing is completely it's like 100% required because if i turn back and see where i started if i would have had that kind of clarity in my tenth yeah time, absolutely or in my education i absolutely. would have gone straight through this path and would not have taken a u turn from there yes yes exactly that is exactly the message which uh, yeah. i think i think we need to give to all the youngsters that uh, understand what you want understand yeah. what your personality says understand what exactly you are in and then go ahead with what stream and what careers you want to choose there are plenty there are plenty there are plenty anyway anyway diksha chalo let's go back to your schooling ha huh? let me just take you to your bachpan ke din okay <laughs> okay it's been long since i since i you know took that ride <laughs> Yeah so so just close your eyes and just go back to your class go back okay. to your school go back to your teachers and go back to all the naughtiness which you used to do go back okay. to whatever bahut sari cheeze jo aap karte the you know back jo baat karna and then probably eating food in the class and probably you know uh, there's so many things which if yeah. just we just close our eyes and we remember it it creates a goosebumps in us and then say wow man what a wonderful bachpan we have we had yeah. in our you know so thoda yeah. sa just let me know about how how was you how was diksha as as a as a chhota sa cute sa kid i was completely different like i said i was very uh, you know very shy i mm. i wasn't somebody who would come up and share with people who would talk in front of people so i was somebody who who had a very close circuit of friends and i would open my mouth only with those few people and uh, that's where the transformation happened when i you know did some discovery did some self work on me and this kind of diksha came out which was <laughs> which was nowhere present in the history <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, I was a shy child, yes. So, I mean, was this shyness uh, from the very starting, and then what? What was that incident which transformed you from a shy girl to an extrovert girl? You know, what was that? Uh, those those uh, few incidents which you probably feel because I'll tell you, when I'm doing a lot of parenting workshops, and you know, I'm parenting uh, people, I'm uh, parenting, I'm I'm giving counseling to children. so bahut sare parents they give this query to us that uh, sir my child is so shy i want him to be on the stage i want him to do this i want him to do that so i see that we are the answer we give but i want to know about diksha now diksha ne kaise wo transformation kiya from a very shy and chup girl to a you know wonderful speaker and a counselor and 
एंड यू नो बस बोलना बोलना एंड बोलना ओके सो आई थिंक आई नो दैट यू प्रोबेबली नो एंड दैट व्हाट यू आर गाइडिंग पीपल थ्रू दैट यू नो व्हेन एंड दैट्स व्हाट आई फेस्ड एज अ चाइल्ड दैट आई देयर वाज देयर वाज अ लॉट कमिंग फ्रॉम एन एनवायरमेंट व्हिच डीमोरलाइज्ड माय सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस with demoralized mm. my self esteem as a child mm. and mm. the environment i was in that that didn't allowed me to mm. to speak my voice to mm. be the person i was mm. and that is why i was hesitant i was uh, i was afraid i was not uh, somebody who would think i'm capable that i can speak in front of people or i can do the things that i would want to and there was a lot of hesitance and there was a lot of uh, you know um, i would say uh, fear fear of made being made wrong fear of being uh, fear of being uh, that somebody will point out things to me or they would just snap me so there right. was a lot of thing that was coming from the environment and mm. as you know i can see that as children when we see that they are not speaking or they are not talking or they are not sharing we that is only the outcome we don't see that mm. what is going on behind or at the background which is making me cause it absolutely mm. Mm. yeah so i think all that got transformed only when like i said that when i started working on myself as a person and i started unleashing that uh what made me so hesitant what mm. where is why where are these fears coming from why is there so much of self doubt in myself and slowly and gradually it happened and click of a second that happened me uh all right yeah it took me certain some time to to identify that and to come out of it and then you know slowly evolved into it but right. you are right that as parents also and as individuals also like i see that a lot in grown ups not even in children in mm. grown ups there is a there there is so much of doubt there is so much of uh, hesitation to to speak one's point of view even with our closed family members our closed colleagues mm-hmm. our closed mm-hmm. friends that we cannot express ourselves out right right absolutely absolutely mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so you tell me how has been your experience like when you you know uh, coach or you counsel the parents and the the kids so one question i have for you sanjeev that i as a mother <laughs> I, I knew it. it. I knew it. I knew it. It would be coming to me. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. So yeah. And the question is that me being a mental and emotional well-being coach, I know right. the importance of being calm, being patient. But when I have to do it with my children, they are not willing to sit down at one place with so much of high energies. and yeah. to some extent i would say that so much of you know exposure to the to the internet to the social media to the because they it keeps their brain so active it mm. keeps them so active there's something wrong with them but it is it is throughout it is throughout the generation that right. kids cannot sit put they cannot stay they cannot stay so what do you have to say about it that what can we do or what uh, are some of the ways that you can think of that that would allow them to be a little more patient in these times i'll tell you i'll tell you i'll uh, see what happens is nowadays the kids are very very intelligent this is you you will agree with me right Yeah. and uh, uh, again as you were discuss and as we were discussing about uh, you know the environment which you said that th- that is the most important part and isi ki wajah se you know uh, there's a there's a huge impact of the environment and the experiences what we what we are gathering all across yeah. similarly goes with the children also because uh, when we were children i mean uh, diksha if we remember our children childhood days so hum log we were we were we were actually duffers yeah we were not very smart kids 
right in the sense that yes we were smart and intelligent we were doing well we were getting good marks and uh, so but today today the children are quite independent today the 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 environment have made them independent the technologies have made them independent the uh, the the me time what they are now see they are not interested in talking to you guys they are interested probably in the, in in the gadgets what they have yeah right so what what we have to understand as a parent first of all we need to accept it okay yeah. because as as a parent we most 90% of the parents they are not accepting that the children are like this now wo yeah. abhi bhi apni wo abhi bhi apne hisab se they want to change the child which i'm sorry they will not change unless and until you give them yourself as a role model ओके आप पांच बजे उठेंगे यू हैव यू विल बी सो सी किड्स डू व्हाट यू डू दे डोंट डू व्हाट यू से सो दैट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग ये जो लाइन है ना ये याद रखिएगा दिस इज माय लाइन इन माय बुक एज वेल किड्स डू व्हाट द द द चिल्ड्रन डू व्हाट यू डू नॉट व्हाट यू से सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक देम पेशेंस इफ यू गिव देम पेशेंस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक देम सिट एट वन प्लेस you need to do that in front of them it is a you have to be a role model it is not aajkal ke bacche wo nahi hai jo will take orders right they will not yeah. say, aap aap padho main aa rahi hu ya main us room mein tv dekh rahi hu ya i am doing something you sit and study no i think from the very beginning you need to make them understand that see if i can do it i you can also do it and this is how the competition level also starts right mm-hmm. aur ghar se hi positive competition level starts so you we we have to make them okay secondly we need to engulf you know indulge with them into with some positive activities positive activities could be aaj aaj kal ke bacche you also i think would agree they are not very good readers they are not very good writers writers in the sense that wo likhna pasand nahi kar rahe they they love to uh, uh, chat they love to write on the mobiles they love to write on their but wo jo language hai mind you they are all slang language Yeah. It is not a correct. It, it is not correct grammatical English as well. Yeah. So ye, yeah. this they yeah. carry on. This they carry towards you know in the in the when they are teens also, <clears throat> and when they become professional. Like for example, you were in you were engineer, and people who become professional, then they need to have a right grammatical English approach, right vocabulary in order to uh, do their business or do their jobs. But that has not come yet. So. see we have to under, make them understand that what is right what is wrong and we have to first we have to do it then only they will copy secondly yeah. we need to make them yeah secondly hame unke sath thoda sa parent banna hai mm-hmm. parent and okay and what do you mean by that ha ah, i'll tell you maximum parents if I, when i talk they will say we are friends to the children okay correct correct Mm-hmm. there is a very thin line between friendship and parenting mm-hmm. okay so when we become friends with parents uh, with the children they take us for granted okay <laughs> okay you getting me but yeah. we have to make them understand that yes we are friendly parents we are not friends we are friendly parents okay i'll repeat we have to make them understand that we are friendly parents we are not friends yeah right yeah so there is a very thin line to jahan pe hame unhe daatna hai mind you jahan pe hame daatna hai wo daatna hai so it's not that, i mean daatna in the sense that we are not hitting them we are not very hard with them of course yeah but we have to if we are disciplined we have to uh, take that discipline we you we need to agar ye yeah. nahi hona hai to nahi hona hai no matter what ye khana hai to khana hai no matter what Yeah, yeah. Ye <clears throat> Now, this, these things when we imbibe in them is from this, the very beginning. Isn't this? Uh, I have a question. Isn't <laughs> it forcing things onto them? Some of the times they don't want to uh, do certain things, but we are kind of force those things to them. So, do you think that works? No, perfectly fine. If they don't want to do it at that time, we will respect that. will respect that mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. if we know if we know that ye cheez karne se it is betterment for them then mm-hmm. we will again tell them to do it so okay, one so you here, mean 
reinstating that over and over again the absolutely. same thing which we absolutely. think is good for absolutely absolutely yeah yes yeah. at that moment at that moment maybe he is not in a mood to do it so we'll respect that yeah. okay we'll respect yeah. yeah but yeah we know that doing it will improve him so he has yeah. to do it if yeah. not today maybe tomorrow if not tomorrow maybe yeah. day after but we will not leave it yeah got that i got that totally you getting yes. me yeah to so, yes. asset Yeah. slowly and slowly slowly <coughs> yeah. sorry yeah. okay okay so um um i also have a question okay <laughs> okay <laughs> chalo uh, diksha yes <laughs> there are so many people who joined in so yes. we'll say hi to everyone hi, okay vartika hi there was just a, yes there was some friends there's, there's another who have joined in yes cool 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 bye wow wow yeah. wow Okay, so there is a, a one biggest problem worth sharing. Kids today are fear fearful to share anything to the parents and police, and police. Okay. And thus, when in danger, <laughs> they look outside or get in depressions. <laughs> I'll answer that again. Don't worry. But I have. Yeah. We'll we'll keep this question in mind because uh, yeah. it's it's not that the it's not that that they don't share. But problem here is that we don't take that sharing in a very positive way. If they are telling us something, we react. So mind you, uh, the helpline number of an Indian helpline, whoever is. So mind you, uh, we need to we need to have an open ear. See, problem क्या है आज हमें भी हम we are not a very good listener, okay? But if we have to be successful in our life, we need to be good listener. And good listener, not only for our friends, not only for our boss and colleagues, it is also good listener for our children. Maybe हम पक जाएंगे, थक जाएंगे कि ये बार बार वही चीज repeat कर रहे हैं, बार बार वही चीज कह रहे हैं. but mm. sorry you have to listen you are the, you are their parent okay hi priya how yeah. are you so uh, you are you are their parent so we yeah. we have to understand so yeah they will open up lekin aapko reaction nahi dena aapko immediately agar aapko uski unki kuch baat galat bhi lagi hai pehle let him complete everything uske baad tell him suggestions don't react yeah okay yeah. chalo anyway uh diksha coming back to you yeah i'm sure you have counseled so many people i'm sure you've given life coachings to so many people mujhe kuch aise uh, you know let's let's discuss some of those incidents jinhone aapko bhi uh, you know brain tumbling mein majboor kar diya ho so uh, if you can share certain things so that we can also learn so many things about it so i think with each uh, you know each individual each uh, session that i take there is a there is a learning that comes to me also so it's not mm-hmm. only one way always always right like right. Uh, whenever i am being or i am coaching somebody sharing the sharing that they do or the things that they you know find challenging in their life right there is a there is a instance of it or there is some connection of it which i find reciprocating in my life also and that gives me a clarity of uh, you know in the conversation it comes out that how can i also uh, deal with it or how can i also evolve myself still further right so it and i have experienced that always and mm. more so like when i am dealing with men so because uh, most of my clients are men uh, mm. and when they are sharing it is it is an awakening for me to see because we say that men do not share they do not they suppress their emotions they do not talk about their emotion and it's a kind of a taboo but the kind of sharing men do when they open up it is magical Mm. because it is so much there in them that otherwise we wouldn't see them sharing out in open not even to their very close friends i would say right. they right. wouldn't talk mm. they wouldn't talk their heart out with their closest of friends but when given uh, the right environment and when given the right uh, assurance that everything that they are sh- sharing is not judged it is transparent it is it is it is not going anywhere so they just right. i find it more powerful than sharing women do and it has like an awakening for me that uh, we we it's it's been a taboo to state that 
men have you know they have strong hearts and they they are uh, they cannot express their emotion which is absolutely a flaw which is absolutely a it is not the truth it's false because men are they are like you, you equally humans as women so Absolutely. i think it's 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 just a created created over the centuries or over the time it has been just created and mm. uh, and that is uh, and I'm, i i am glad to see that more and more men are coming up and talking about their things and they are open to discuss their real time challenges and working towards that so i th- and i think that is very much required also now wow wow so any any incident any case uh, you feel that uh, is worth discussing so that we can also learn certain things about what mistakes that uh, that uh, uh, you know person would have been uh, doing so that uh, you know it doesn't come again and the the mental stress and the mental anxieties are little more lesser than what uh, we we yeah. have now yeah so there is uh you know there is one uh, one person i wouldn't name him of course yeah yeah, yeah. please but please, then please he was yeah so then he he was uh, you know he was the kind of individual who wouldn't share or he wouldn't talk about his life to anyone right right as as a personality like as a personality right. he he doesn't have that habit of sharing out his his uh, thoughts or views as a result all that was going on all the upsets with his wife all the uh, you know workload that he was taking on all the uh, challenges with respect to uh, his condition he he didn't shared with anybody hmm. and he just kept on himself and himself and as a result when we do not share with anybody and we keep consuming it consuming it it starts showing in our body very true and mm-hmm. as a result it it impacted him big time on his cervical on his shoulders and he 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 had a you know fracture here Ooh. and he had to get it he had to get it uh uh, uh uh he had to get it operated because of that and mm. when he started when we started the counseling there was so much that came out during our you know mm-hmm. uh, uh, like initially he was very hesitant to talk about those things but eventually mm-hmm. as he started talking about it there was so much that he you know went it out and and with certain you know yogic practices and ancient practices that i introduced him in his life it made so much of unburdening that he started feeling light within himself it started mm. making his pain started to di- to dissolve mm. his uh, you know his anxious anxiety level started to diminish mm. he started you know uh, he was he was to get so reactive on the things but the, never used to speak out loud and right. all that suppression was making him not to you know, the pain wouldn't go away that's why and the mm-hmm. the headaches wouldn't go away that's why mm-hmm. and after the you know after taking so many medicines so many doctors he couldn't think of the way that why is it not going why am i you know why i'm not recovering out of this all right and once he started taking these you know he started doing these ancient practices he started expressing his emotions in different ways right through writing through exercising through different ways then was the time you know when he started releasing his pain out of the body and that was something magical right because we don't we don't un- we actually underestimate how much of important it is to deal with the emotions which are bothering us absolutely absolutely and they start until many a time they start affecting us on a physical level mm mm-hmm. and that was the time when he started expressing he started you know talking about it he started uh, getting comfortable in what he had to do then uh, you know there was the pain started to diminish the uh, you know his his anger started to diminish 
his uh, his work started to improve better mm. so that is absolutely. something i yeah absolutely see what this is what exactly what as a psychologist um see our our work and your work probably um is is not seen or probably is not showcased in such a way as uh, an allopathic doctor or probably an in uh, you know but uh, talking with us you know uh, sharing certain things with us actually reduces lot of issues which is which are the backbone of diseases yes absolutely absolutely so, so you were so, talking about like stress yeah and uh, uh, in these times like everybody uh, when they deal with stress automatically it comes on to the body <laughs> headaches headaches body aches body pain back aches all these are symptoms right Stomach right upset yeah absolutely and this has been very prominent in in these last uh, 10 months yeah 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 it's not only because of uh, i mean the physical deformities or physical problems what they are facing but also maximum 99% was a mental traumas or mental stress uh, yeah. what they were going through whether it was a work yeah. whether it was a, a a disease whether it was their whatever family issues or yeah. Uh, yeah. you know so <clears throat> yeah you're absolutely right so there goes your and our work which yeah. which is really really important and it has to be highlighted and has to be taken very seriously and uh, to to in order to make them sure that they are right they are good they are yeah. uh, happy they are mentally fine they are physically fine and they are smiling as always because that yeah. is what uh, probably uh, our 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 uh, you know work says great yeah. diksha great great <clears throat> diksha what what are your future plans nowadays now i mean what are you thinking that uh, now this is my projects which are coming up or probably these are something which i'll be working on so i um, i'm working on building my uh, you know program which would be an extensive program and uh, taking care of all these things as like how we can deal with the anxiety stress Uh, uh emotional imbalance and how one can come out of it uh and feel better and feel more joyous feel more freedom and so i'm in a process of building a program uh around it so that's in the pipeline oh wow wow we're looking forward to it i'm sh- yeah. and any any anything which i could do for you for an, any help required anything any guidance required of any assistance required from my side you are i would all- be so happy to i will be so happy to because i think we we create the same in, as you said like that's our role as in the same we, we both are in the same pipeline i would say <laughs> yes. serving the same purpose yeah and 1 1 plus 1 is not 2 1 plus 1 is 11 11 yes <laughs> absolutely so what are your plans sanjeev in the coming years um see my plans uh, since i'm into lot of work in in terms of counseling in terms of psychological issues in terms of trainings i do train a lot of principal i do train a lot of ceos i do train a lot of uh, managers and a uh, lot of companies a lot of universities i'm tied up with uh, since uh, i am also with a lot of children to bahut sari cheeze aisa chal raha hai and uh, yes not not a very uh, a planned way in in the sense that i i take life how it comes you know and that is i think that is that should be <laughs> the real motto because sometimes in in fact 90% of the times planning fail and uh, covid times is the biggest example of everything <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we must have all oh, every one of us planned a lot of things but unfortunately uh, destiny ko shayad ye kuch aur hi cheeze manzoor hain so, so yeah. yes we go by the flow we work hard we we are focused on our work we are committed to our work i think this is other planning ki zarurat nahi hai right mm-hmm. yes but it, do you have a, a little... but do you have a, a a goal like a a vision that this is what you 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 are up to my vision is only humanity uh, diksha frankly frankly uh and uh, yes i love to help people i love to uh, work with them i love to guide them whatever small experience of 20 years i have 
um i i love to 20 give them not, the, 20 years is not small <laughs> i take it as a small because i am i am a keen learner i always learn yeah whatever age would be i mean i think i i will always be a learner i am not a perfect person neither anyone is so um to uh, i think i am a learner still i am a learner and i always want to be a learner because agar aap uh, uh, seekh rahe hain to i think aap sikha bahut acha sakte hain yes i right? i, so, I agree to that yes yeah so uh, yes there is lot of i um, i am i am a consultant to lot of companies i am giving them lot of things so my probably my plannings would be again uh working with lot of companies working with lot of interns i have lot of interns with me uh a lot of uh, you know uh, teachers and principal and students i have almost uh i i think i don't know i mean probably 50000 plus students uh, i would have wow. counseled in a in a group or individual um bahut sare aise hain so it's not yes i'm working on what uh you know i i can i can and that's for humanity <laughs> very nice that's very thoughtful it which is needed yeah. in today's time i would say yeah and <laughs> this is exactly what we, i started in the lockdown jaise maine aapse baat kari thi you know just to uh, talk to people so that you know your work could be highlighted your work also to be taken seriously by everyone because ye cheeze jo ye whatever we are doing i'm again repeating these things are not taken as serious as they should be right yeah. but i'm sure once people have trust on us have faith on us then they are completely for us yeah kyunki i mean i am and you would i mean your you have would have be having lot of examples jo itne sare log aaj aapke clients hain ya jo bhi itne sare log aapke you know they share the equal podium aap khud samajh sakte hain ya aap khud iska you know you would be a, a right example to say that yes if we give them right approach we give them right guidance they will always be with us yeah and people want to this is what i have seen throughout that people want to work uh, and they want growth in in yes. all the aspects not only in professional but they want their you know in their holistic growth as a person right they, but there are times they don't know whom to reach to there are times when they don't know that what to do to get them out of there or to get them moving to get them better right so i think it's it's our duty then becomes then we you know make it available to them we make it visible to them that if they are looking for something this is where it is <laughs> absolutely so uh, okay my my next small uh, query would be uh, how are how are you doing this i mean how are you uh planning uh, in in certain things that yes people might come to you so what what are your strategies as in to uh, to make it available for the people yes Or, yes, uh, yes how do i operate both both ways both ways how to how you are available to people so that viewers who are listening they can also understand secondly and uh, how you uh, what is your modus operandi on that or how do you do it so thoda sa mujhe is bare mein batai so most of the time i like like you are like i am also available on social media so i keep posting there i share i keep sharing my views my thoughts on that i have also started to make some videos on based on the experiences i have had with people the challenges they are facing uh, and which are most common i you know kind of make a two three uh, you know five six minute video so that people actually relate with those things and then they they see that this is something they are also dealing with and that gives them an opportunity to come and talk about that again mm-hmm. so these these are some of the things and then hi rashmi good to have you so this is uh, some of these are some of the ways and then w- when people you know they take the sessions and they get results they see a change in their life that is something which which has always worked and which uh, i think which is the key to it that they start you know sharing it in their circles they start recommending to to their um, colleagues their uh, partners their friends and that is how other people also start uh, you know they approaching right and you know talking about this and being being uh, you know uh, able to make it available for people through 
through word of mouth i would say that right right i think word of mouth is the right yeah. answer because this is yeah. exactly uh, you know if if one person is satisfied they definitely discuss with their own yeah. friends uh, yeah. wow um yeah. you know summing up to certain things uh, diksha how how exactly do you balance your pers- personal and professional life in this <clears throat> so yeah that's a good question i think many people <laughs> they they find they find it amazed to see that how do i take out so much of time <laughs> in doing different things so i have learned it over the years and it is i also had my you know hiccups while i was in the journey but now i have you know scheduling is something which has worked wonders for me and scheduling my times ahead scheduling my day and knowing uh, what i am up to helps me to uh, you know manage my time in an appropriate way and that i think many of you know many of the people also joining in because right. this is one of the most common thing that people ask me i want to do this but i don't get the time i want right. to do that but i don't have the time right because many a times we we do things as by our whims and fancies abhi ye man kar raha hai to ye kar lete hain aur ye aadhe ghante ka aadhe ghante karna tha but wo ek ghante kar liya correct एक एक एपिसोड नेटफ्लिक्स पे देखना था बट चार देख लिए बैठ के राइट सो व्हेन वी व्हेन वी डेवलप द हैबिट ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग आउट ऑफ आवर विंस एंड फैंसीज वी टेंड टू लूज अप ऑन द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स इन आवर लाइफ व्हिच वी वांट टू राइट आई थिंक इसके अंदर एक और चीज बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है द प्रायोरिटीज हैव टू बी सेट अप यस yes and you have to be disciplined that if you want to have if you want if you're up to something you want to achieve something you have to discipline yourself you cannot be all over the place true very true very very true so right so i think that um, has worked what are the other hobbies which uh, deeksha has now she is working on it all right i i have a you know i i really like reading a lot and that uh, really de stresses or it just uh, you know or takes off all my uh, uh, it relaxes me i would say so yeah, yeah. and i like watching uh, series netflix series that relaxes me a lot <laughs> so instead of one series do you go and watch say, four series at a time <laughs> at a stretch <laughs> no no so i have my fixed days and fixed slots so i go and binge myself and i go and fill myself in those days <laughs> that's so wonderful yes. wonderful okay so uh, two two quick uh, you know the most 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 favorite food of diksha oh all right so i really like uh, you know smoothies number one uh, which is which is uh, filled with nuts and fruits and uh, all that and uh, one i like thai green curry with sticky rice that's ah, one of my lovely. favorites <laughs> yeah lovely two yeah. things which diksha will never do in her life all right i will never uh, you know lie i will never lie which i have not mm-hmm. done for for years now and i think i will never mm, bad talk uh you know talk bad about somebody uh, mm. uh, uh on their back or you know what do you call it i would never bitch about somebody else. yeah so that that's the most uh, most stupid thing to be done actually you know um, anyway yeah. but then people love it people love it okay <laughs> <laughs> yes yes <laughs> the gossip okay <laughs> so uh, there's an other, another suggestion for you there's a gajar ka halwa is uh, mm-hmm. is it something oh, yes. that you my dear my dear sam <laughs> hello sam i remember your gajar ka halwa <laughs> so there's another ditch anyone yeah of, of course priya we should not do that we should be loyal we should love everyone but be loyal to one cool great 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 um pata hi nahi chala you know it's 45 minutes 50 minutes have gone i mean it seems like we just started a cup of coffee 
yeah yeah and it was lovely talking and i'm sure many of the people who have joined in it was great to get in touch with so many of the people yeah so, so what do you want to suggest uh, sanjeev to all the people who are watching us what is your suggestion uh, your is very very simple suggestion is very very come to us for any issues mm mm-hmm. mm mm-hmm. any that's, issues that's, okay we yeah i mean it's an open it's a it's a business proposal it's an open invitation <laughs> it's, okay it's it's everything come yeah. to us and trust us that whatever you are speaking whatever you are telling us would be with with us forever mm-hmm. till the end of our life because that is our uh, you know thought that is what we it's 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 our uh, what do i say this is our bread and butter this is what where we earn this is where and we cannot lie on what we earn okay mm-hmm. so we are dedicated come to us talk to us and uh, get your problem solved at least if not solved then we are there to listen to your problem we may not be giving you the best options but yes we would be giving you the best ears wow that's wonderful so sanjeev why don't you end by suggesting that how are you available to others like what are your ways others can reach you through same same uh, diksha as what you say i am available on the social media my phone yeah. numbers are there whatever wherever contacts i have i am very open I mean, my life is a open book anyone can contact yeah. me but yes uh, uh, do respect personal uh, space of everyone that is the most important thing we are yeah. open but we are open for professionally so uh, come up and talk and uh, please go and talk to diksha because i'm sure you would love to talk to her get your problem solved and diksha is available on the social media uh, diksha um, i personally would feel ki when when this talk is over i will give you this link aap us link ke sath apna phone number bhi dal ke spread it over so that people can listen to wonderful work what you are doing yeah thank you thank you sanjeev that was very nice and kind of you and that something really incredible that you're doing and which you are you know extended your arms in reaching out to more people and making it making them available to so many other people and i think it is it is needed and you're doing wonderful work thank you diksha and uh, once again if you need any assistance anything would you yeah. feel that i could be of any help to you please 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 come over talk to yeah. us talk to me and definitely yeah. whatever best little help i can give to you i am ready to give to you and not only yeah. to you everyone who is listening to us i am sure diksha and uh, me are open for work are open for listening are open for counseling and one of one of the best coaches life coaches is diksha gc let's join thank him you. <laughs> god bless thank you, you so diksha much. thank you god thank bless you diksha and yeah. enjoy and pay my regards to everyone whom you know and let's yeah. be in touch let's do the humanities yeah. let's do the best work on what 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 we are good at god bless yeah. you. Thank you thank you so much thank diksha you. it was yeah. wonderful thank you so much time. absolutely the same pleasure is here thank you and take everyone care. thank you for joining in take care bye yes, yes. bye bye So this was Diksha thank you so much everyone for joining in my I am your friend Dr Sanjeev Arora psychologist trainer career counselor so if you need anything any help any guidance any support get back to me talk to me call me ping me whatsapp me leave a message dm me i'll be there for you thank you so much till the next time come on coming up with another good wonderful guest you take care All the best and have a safe life. Thank you.